Jeff the General here with another quick tip. Metadata's in your MP3s, embedded pics in your MP3s. Would you rather have your MP3s looking like this? Where you have a nice clear image, you've got the name of the song, the artist's name as well. Everything that's required for this MP3 is available to you. Or would you rather have your MP3s looking like this? Where you have no clear image, uh, you've got the name of the song, but no name of the artist. So a lot of the metadata is missing. I'm going to show you two ways in which you can achieve this. I'm also going to show you two ways in which you can convert your WAV files to MP3s without relying on websites. So let's get to it. All right, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need iTunes from the Apple Store, and you're also going to need VLC from videoland.org. Both links are in the description. So let's assume now that this folder here, Affection, is your album. You've downloaded iTunes and installed it as well as VLC. You want to take your folder and drop it into iTunes. Now, with the songs in there, I'm going to control A and highlight all the songs. I'm using Windows 10, by the way. I want to convert all these to MP3, assuming that these are all WAV files. You want to go to Edit, Preferences, Import Settings. The default would normally be AAC, but in this case, I'm going to go to MP3 and choose whether I want it at 120 kbps, 160, 192, or custom. Custom is 320 kbps, which is the highest form of, of MP3s. So in this case, I'm going to convert it to 120, 128 kbps. Click OK to that, OK to that. Then I'm going, to, I'm going to file, convert, create MP3s. It's now going to convert all my songs to MP3s. Once that's done, you're going to hear a bell. I'm going to keep my files highlighted, right click and delete the library. The reason why I'm doing this is because I no longer require the, the, the WAV files. So now the MP3s are now here. I'm going to control A to highlight these again. I'm now going to add my image. So I right click on that. I say, get info. Are you sure you want to edit information for multiple items? I say, yes, I do that. I go to artwork. I can either add artwork by going to the folder that I, I have, but in this case, my image is right here on my desktop. So I simply just drag and drop it in there. That's it. So my information is now there. I'm now, now I'm going to put the rest of my metadata in. I'm going to go to each one and I'm going to say song information. Jeff the general for that one. Album, uh, it's called Affection. Artist, it's just a general again. Then in this case, the, the, the genre is Afrobeat, year 2020. Now, it's going to be track one of three because there are three songs. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of the, the rest of the singles. Now that is all complete. If I was to drag and drop one of these songs, for example, Dangerous, you can see the image is clearly there. If I was to put it into my VLC player, you've got a nice clear image there. The title of the song is, is Dangerous by Jeff the General. So that's that done for iTunes. That's how to use iTunes. I'm going to quickly show you the same way to do it on VLC. Your album here, Firestarter, contains one song right there. I'm going to drag and drop it into VLC. Pause that for a second. I'm going to go to Tools, Media Information, and input the same information. Jeff the General, uh, Firestarter, whoops. Uh, R&B in this case. Then you can put the rest in. It's track one of one. Um, you've got the publisher, the copyright. You don't have to put out all that information. It's up to you if you want to. What you want to do here, on the cone is right click, add image, and you want to go to your desktop. In this case, I'm going to add this image. You want to save data and close, and that's it. If I was to come out of VLC and drag my, my Firestarter album back into my VLC, there you go. Image there, name of the song, name of the artist. So those are the two ways to put the metadata into your MP3. I'm going to show you the second way to convert your WAV files to MP3. All right, so we're going to finish this video off with Audacity. Audacity is a great free audio editing tool. We're going to take one of our songs, put it into Audacity, and convert this to MP3. Click OK once it's installed. Go to File, Export, Export as MP3. You want to choose whether you want 320, 192, just like I explained earlier on, and simply click Save and save in the folder of your choosing. 
and that's it all done all right so let me see your comments down below hit the like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next vid with more tips